Three, two, one, let rip. Burst him! Come on, Valtriac. You gotta burst him! No! Hit it with the spring and rush launch, Valtriac! Get that cut out of my face! Nacho! Who? What's up guys? So amazing here and today we have some new launchers coming up right after this. You will subscribe. I will subscribe. Mind blasting! Mind blasting! All right, guys, we got an awesome video in store for you guys today. We have the Hypersphere Sword Launcher and the Spark Power Set Launcher. We're gonna put up Cosmic Apocalypse against Brave Valtriac. So let's start off with Cosmic Apocalypse. So here we have Cosmic Apocalypse. Where's your rope, Ignacio? It was stinky, but these are my recreation clothes. We have the sword launcher here, and let's take a look at the back. Okay, so. Sometimes you wear stretchy pants in your room. It's for fun. What? Cosmic Apocalypse. Definitely a pretty cool Beyblade here. He is a right spin and is an attack type with the D75 chassis and the TH15 driver. Has the two run time with a four drop in frequency. Let's open them up and take a look. Okay, so let's start off with the part by part. Starting off with his chip. Definitely digging the bold blue there with the yellow. Very nice. We have his QR code for you here. And moving on to the layer. His layer, I don't know. I mean, it says he's an attack type, but his layer is more of a stamina type. So not quite sure what to think about that. Then we got his chassis here. Same chassis as the Devilosis. Pretty nice. And last but not least is his driver. His driver looks pretty solid. Uh, seems a little light. Not quite sure what to think about his driver. But let's do a quick weigh-in. Okay, so let's start off with the chip. The chip is a three. His layer is a eight. Okay, already off to a bad start there. Chassis is a 20. And his driver is nine grams. Okay, let's do a total weigh-in. Cosmic Apocalypse weighs in at 41 grams. Okay, so he broke the 40, that's good. So let's move on to Brave Valtriac. All right, so we have Brave Valtriac here. You can take the stallion. I can wrestle him, but you are tall and fast like a gazelle. You can do it. And really excited to see the power behind the Spark power set. Everyone's been saying that this launcher is the strongest Hasbro launcher yet. So let's take a look at the back. So Brave Valtriac is a speed storm and he is a right spin attack type as well. Has the D17 and the TSP11. Really excited to see how this driver performs. He is an attack type and it's showing that he has a 12 attack. So super solid attack power. His defense is a zero, so not too excited about that. Stamina is a one. And let's open him up. So 
So we're gonna start off with the launcher first. It has the spark, so let's take a look real quick. Yeah, see those sparks there? Definitely feels nice in my hands. His rip cord is a lot longer, so that's pretty cool. It's about two inches longer, which is really nice. That'll give it some extra power on the launches. The gears seem really nice. Let's see the spark in there. Very loud. I like that a lot. So here is the QR code for the launcher. And uh, forgot there's a QR code for the sword launcher there. Now let's move on to the part by part for Brave Altria. Okay, so starting off with his chip. Definitely nice detail on his chip. Got his face here with his eyes and his helmet up top, really nice. Got his QR code right here. And moving on to his lair. His lair feels really light. And I would imagine that he would have some really good burst ability. Get off me! Ah! Oh! Oh! And we got his chassis here. I don't think I've ever seen this chassis before. Looks really nice. And his driver. So he has the rubber tip. That would definitely mean his stamina is gonna be really, really weak because he'll run out of stamina real fast, but I'm sure it's gonna make him very, very aggressive on the attack power there. So definitely good to have that rubber there for his driver. Let's do a quick weigh-in. This chip. Two grams. His layer, nine grams. What is going on? This guy's a complete lightweight. You're just a you're just a lightweight, light, 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 lightweight. Chassis, 17. Is this guy gonna even break 40? Nope. And his driver, six grams. Man, let's do a total weigh-in. Bray Valtriac weighs in at Oh my gosh, he, he's like anorexic. I'm sexy and I know it. 35 grams. Please tell me your attack power will more than make up for your weight because 35 grams, that's, that's pathetic. Just chilling in my crib writing this song. Yo, that's pathetic. Woo! Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's move on to the test launches. First, let's start off with the sword launcher and cosmic apocalypse. Come on, Esqueleto! Three, two, one, let it rip. Pretty nice movement there. Very smooth and balanced. One thing that I do like about the sword launchers is that you don't really have to yank it really hard for it to get a strong launch. But on the flip side, if you pull it too hard, you will mess up the gears on this. So be very careful with the sword launcher. So that was Cosmic Apocalypse. Let's move on to Brave Altriac. So we got the sparking launcher from Hasbro and Brave Valtriac. Really excited to see how the sparking launcher works. So let's do a quick test launch. Fuck me! Three, two, one, let it rip. Yo, nice. Very nice. So Brave Valtriac seems to go into the middle pretty quickly, but that was a pretty, pretty solid launch there. Runtime super short. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go first to three in the Volt Stadium first, and then first to three in the Vertical Drop Hypersphere Stadium. So let's get it. Round one, three, two, one, let it rip. Completely 
destroyed Valtriac there. Survivor finished 1-0. Off to a bad start. Definitely has something to do with his weight. Round two, three, two on the rip. Okay, I think Apostle's going to take this. Man, way too easy for him. Another survivor finish for Cosmic Apocalypse, 2 0. Round 3, 3 2 on the rip. Come on. You gotta hit him. You gotta hit him, man. Oh, man. Valtriac is done for. Apocalypse completely shuts Valtriac out in his home stadium. Let's move to the vertical drop. One, three, two, one, let it rip. Oh, come on. Uh -oh. Apocalypse got this. Easy. Survivor finish for Cosmic Apocalypse. One zero. If Brave doesn't land a solid hit in the beginning, it's just like Wonder Valtriac. No way to win. Round two, three, two, one, let it rip. Burst him. Come on, Valtriac. You gotta burst him. Now! Hit it with the spring rush launch, Valtriac! Yes! Solid burst there for Brave Valtriac, 2-1. Round three, three, two on the rip. Oh, it's over. 2-2 two, two survivor finish, Cosmic Apocalypse. Round four, three, two on the rip. Them. Oh, it's probably all over for Valtriac. And another survivor finish for Cosmic Apocalypse 3 2. <laughs> Final thoughts, Brave Valtriac is extremely light, but man, he has some solid attack power. Um, we'll have to see in some more battles in the future to see how he really fares, because I think Cosmic Apocalypse is pretty strong. Definitely worthy of going up against some of the top fives in the hypersphere. I like Cosmic Apocalypse just for the fact that his burst resistance is pretty decent, but overall, uh, being an attack type, he still has a pretty good balance of attack and stamina, and uh, he still won in the end. What do you guys think? Who do you like better, Brave Valtriac or Cosmic Apocalypse? I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.